we're standing in the campground here at uh, Kaitoki Regional Park and this campground is um, open every day of the year and it's a really great place to bring the family for a camping experience. You don't need to book, you can just turn up and uh, find yourself a spot here in this wonderful open area. Just register and pay your fees at the information kiosk and then set up. We have rangers on site all the time so it's, it's very safe. You've got the river flowing past here which is great for swimming for the, for the kids and there's also opportunities, you can have a fire on the riverbed and uh, roast your marshmallows and, and sausages and there's also wonderful bushwalks that you can take um, just by walking out of this campground here further in the park that take you into some of that stunning um, ancient rainforest that we have here uh, in Kaitoki. So here we are along the side of the Pakaratahi River. Behind me is one of the best swimming holes in the park. We can see we've got um, a neat cliff system here which people love to jump off. Um, and certainly during the summer when the temperatures are warmer and the river flows are less, this is a wonderful swimming hole. This area basically was transformed by Peter Jackson and his film crew into the set of Rivendell, which is the home of the elves in the Lord of the Rings um, trilogy. Now basically here for six months, um, but most of that time was actually setting up and then taking down again. So there was 10 days of filming and when they were filming here they had about 300 people on set. Here we are in one of the great rainforests of the world and, and what makes this a great rainforest is one it's only 45 minutes from the capital city Wellington CBD but also because 8 out of 10 of the plants and animals that we find in this forest are found nowhere else on the earth so they are endemic to New Zealand. And some of the trees in this rainforest here predate human arrival in Aotearoa, New Zealand. They're over 1,200 years old. So what makes this a rainforest is the amount of rainfall we get here, on average about 2.3 metres a year. The fact we've got a lot of ferns, you only have to look around. There's the fernery. We've got epiphytes, which are climbing plants. We've got the subcanopy, the canopy, and then we've got massive trees that punch out through. So certainly a wonderful forest that we've got here where there's plenty of plants and animals that you won't see anywhere else.